Hi guys, Brain the Scare Lion back with another video. Yeah, I realise it's been like a couple of weeks yep. since my last one. Um, I've terrible had, brain, terrible. <laughs> I've had uh, problems with my teeth. It's been causing me a lot of pain. I've still got a lot of pain though, but I can't skip Survivor Series. Come on. You, ju you just can't, but um, videos might be a little spaced out here and there, literally just until I've got this sorted out. So I apologise for that, but... Yeah, we're not missing this pay-per-view. This is one of the big four. When it comes to the forfeits, like, we've got the Evolution forfeit. Uh, I will be doing it. Don't worry. Like, I'm not skipping out on it. I just... I can't be hit with stuff right now. Going on to some that we missed. We missed talking about Crown Jewel, but who cares? Shane McMahon is the best in the world. Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon. I know it's been drowned into the ground now, like Shane being the hardest dad in the, the world. hardest dad in the world. But yeah, I just thought I'd give it a quick mention here. Let's move past that and let's get on to our predictions for Survivor Series. So the first match that we'll talk about is Mustafa Ali versus Buddy Murphy for the Cruiserweight Championship on 205 Live. Who have you got in this one and why? Uh, I got Buddy Murphy just because he's. A relatively new champion. They won't take the title off you, I'm just sure. Yeah, I'm going to say uh, Buddy Murphy as well. Uh, I do think Mustafa Ali will take the championship at some point, but I don't think it's yet. No, he's just not there yet. So, next match we're going to talk about is the stupid 10 on 10 tag team match because it's basically a Womba Jack match. That's what it's basically going to be because it's going to be. No room on the apron because they're going to be shooting the team. Mm. It, it, it's, just, it's just stupid. Uh, we won't go through all the names because there's too many. Yeah. Uh, I'll put all the names in the description below for who's going to be in this match. Uh, but who have you got? I've got SmackDown. SmackDown just look like they've got the better teams. Yeah, 100% like, SmackDown have got the better team here. Like they've got the next tag team champions, in my opinion, of mm. sanity. For me here, yeah, I'm, I'm going the same. <clears throat> Just look at the two teams. You know which one looks better. Nah. The, the team does look more impressive, so 100% <clears throat> it's got to be them. Nah. So next, we've got the five-on-five five men's match. Five members of Raw and five members of SmackDown. On, the, on Team SmackDown, we have got Captain The Miz. We have got Samoa Joe, Jeff Hardy, Rey Mysterio, and the world's hardest... Yeah. Dad. No, no, the universe is hardest oh, dad. Oh, sorry, sorry. The universe is hardest dad. And there you go, that's better. Hey. Shane McMahon. It probably, Just... ha it probably had you pronouncing it wrong. Do you know who's around in wrestling? Who's on Team Raw? Bobby Lashley. Definitely ruined in wrestling. <laughs> ben Bauer, Braun Strowman, Dolph Ziggler, and Drew McIntyre. Big bad Drew. Who have you got in this one, then? I've got two survivors. On Team Raw, uh, I've right. got uh, Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre being the survivors. For me, I'm going to go with Team SmackDown on this. Mm. I'm going to say that Samoa Joe is yeah. going to be the lone man standing in the ring. I feel like Shane will probably eliminate four people in the oh, match. I fucking hope yeah. Shane, Shane will just fucking eliminate everyone. Ref, ref comes in and he's like, oh, right, we're, nah, <laughs> nah, we need to wave this off. Uh, I'll pin the ref. Yep. Get Renee Young in. <laughs> oh. And just pin her in the middle of the ring. Oh yes, I'm the hardest man. I'm the hardest dad in the universe. <laughs> so next match we're going to talk about is the five on five women's match. Mm -hmm. For Team SmackDown, you've got Sonya Deville, Asuka, Carmella, Naomi, and the the other member is, is going to be announced at Survivor Series. And on Team Raw, we have got Natalia, Tamina. Nia Jax, Mickey James, and Ruby Riot. Looking at both of the teams, it, it's a mixed bag. It is a mixed bag. Like, 100%, I would have went with Team Raw if, say, instead of Tamina, they had Ember Moon. Uh, but look at how they're trying to push Tamina right now. Yeah, but if instead of Tamina, they had Ember Moon, 100%, I would have went straight for Raw. Right. But on this, I'm going with SmackDown. Uh, I'm going with Raw. Um, I'm saying they're going to push Naya and Tamina a little bit more. 
But before we push on to the next matches, um, who is your prediction for the final woman on Team SmackDown? I reckon it's going to be Nikki Cross that's going to get announced. You say Nikki Cross? Yep. It would be absolutely incredible if Nikki Cross was put in as the last woman. But for me, I'm going to say that it's going to be Mandy Rose. So the next match that we're going to go on to is Seth Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura. I'm saying I'm saying Seth Rollins through a, t- through a disqualification. You know, Dean Ambrose is going to run in and, and attack Seth Rollins. And everybody can see it coming. I don't think so. I'm going to say that Shinsuke is going to walk away with a victory here. He's mm. going to do something like Sly. But I think it's going to be through a distraction by Dean Ambrose. And then once the match is over, Dean Ambrose is going to be doing what he's done lately, picking off the carcass. Right, so next we're going to talk about the bar against AOP. I'm just going to say it right now, AOP coming away with a victory. AOP have got to come away with a victory here. They're going to push them as the most dominant team on both Raw and SmackDown right now. Mm. So the next match that we move on to is the match I am most looking forward to here. Yeah, it's going to be an amazing match. It's Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair. It was originally supposed to be Becky Lynch and have champion versus champion. But, yeah, if you've watched Raw, you'll saw what happened. Becky's face... Like, just covered in blood. Right. I love this woman more and more and more. Like, Jesus Christ, she took that punch like an absolute fucking champ. It's because she's the man. Going back to the actual match now, we've got Charlotte versus Ronda. Who do you think's going to win? It is a really tough one. It's the first time we're going to see a Ronda Rousey match where we're not going, Ooh. Ronda's going to win. No. I, I've got to go with Charlotte on this one. You're taking Charlotte I'm on this? I'm taking Charlotte because she's, she's overcome every other obstacle. I'm I'm going to take Ronda. Mm. I know like, it's a bit cliche taking Ronda and that. Right, and for the match that I'm looking forward to the most, Brock Lesnar against a new heel, Daniel Bryan, mm. which is just amazing. This is what he needs. I feel like it just fit him so well and... Apparently, it was his idea to turn heel. It does actually shine a light saying that maybe WWE are listening to the superstars and going, all right, we'll run with, we'll, we'll run with your idea and see what you can do with it. But yeah, in this one, uh, I want to say Daniel. Every little inch of me is saying, Daniel, Daniel, but I'm going Brock. Uh, I, I'm saying Daniel. But there you go, there's our predictions for Survivor Series. Mm. Uh, I am actually really looking forward to it. The match cards do look pretty good. Real quick, my brother wants to tell you which match he's looking most forward to over the weekend. War Games, oh, oh, that, that match is just going to be incredible. Oh yeah, the match is going to be fucking amazing. It's the second one for uh, Undisputed Era, isn't it? Yep, and I'm just waiting for the Roderick Strong and Pete Dunne face off. Yeah. That is just, that is just going to be amazing. Yeah, it will be. Moving on, the forfeits for this. Again, it will have to wait until I've had all of this sorted out. But, uh, yeah, would you like to tell the people... How stupid we're being with this forfeit. So for the forfeit, it's going to be thumbtacks laid out all over the floor, shut off, choke slam, back onto the thumbtacks. Hopefully hundreds of thumbtacks going into your back. <laughs> this is going to be shoulders. fucking painful. This is going to be horrendously painful. For you, yes. Because you look at the track rack and I always come out on top. But we thought, do you know what? It's a wrestling forfeit. Let's do something wrestling. Yeah. And nothing says wrestling like chalk slam onto thumbtacks. But yeah, we hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did like it, give it a like. Comment down below who you think is actually going to win this. Will Raw get the most wins or will SmackDown? Who do you think? Hardest dad in the universe. <laughs> yeah, the hardest dad in the universe takes the most wins. Yep. He's going to interfere in every single match and <laughs> pin the Ross superstar. He's even going to uh, interfere in the Ronda Rousey match and pin Ronda. <laughs> also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you can always stay up to date on my content. And yeah, we'll see you guys later. Peace.